I think I should apologize to um to the ops for talking about their kids. But I feel like they were talking about my kids first, right? <laughs> let let this go or what? Y'all let me know. If my fans want me to, I will. Krishan is not here for Soldier Boy's shenanigans. It seems like she's had enough of him playing with her and her precious child, Krishan Jr. See, Soldier Boy and Blueface have been engaged in a heated back and forth, and at some point, Soldier Boy crossed the line by coming for Krishan's baby, calling him ugly and using a derogatory term. However, Soldier Boy, in a surprising twist, claimed he was taking back his words and offered an apology. And here's where things got interesting because according to claims, Christian, being the fierce mama bear that she is, reportedly declined his apology because she seemingly believes that Soldier Boy is just playing games and trying to cloud chase using her name. Soldier Boy, you can keep me out of the little mix. Y'all need to go to church. That's your mother problem. Y'all not at church in this follow morning. Praise the Lord. Y'all need to leave me out that mix. Who's getting effed? You don't got that much riz. <laughs> and honestly, she might have a point. But what exactly did Soldier Boy say in his apology? Was it genuine? Did he really mean any of the hurtful things he said? Let us dive deeper into this messy situation, shall we? Soldier Boy recently took to his Instagram live, seeking the opinions of his fans on whether he should apologize to Blueface and Krishan saying, y'all think I should apologize to these ops for talking about their kids, but I feel like they were talking about my kids first, right? I just feel like a ninja was talking about my kids first, they ain't gonna apologize to me for talking about my son, but I just feel like that ain't in my character. I think I should apologize to, um, to the ops for talking about their kids, but I feel like they were talking about my kids first, right? Let this go. Y'all let me know. If my fans want me to, I will. He then directly addressed Krishan, expressing his desire to apologize since she got caught in the middle of it all, stating, Krishan, I want to apologize to you, but since your homie was talking crazy about my son, I had to talk crazy about his son. I know he wouldn't apologize to my baby mama for lying and talking crazy, so I'll say that I'm sorry that she got caught in the middle of it. We should leave that between me and him. But here comes the kicker. Soldier Boy claimed he had to be the bigger man in the picture because he's too viral and too pretty. Well, isn't that something? He then concluded that it is not really an apology but more of an understanding. He claimed, I'm gonna be the bigger man because I'm just too viral, I'm too pretty. It is not an apology, it is just an understanding. Wait, what? That doesn't sound like a genuine apology, more like an attempt to save face. But but before we dip our toes into that, if you're wondering what he was apologizing for, let me fill you in. Soldier Boy had previously called Krishon and Blueface's baby ugly and used an offensive term claiming, I ain't gonna lie, that ninja looked like he got Down syndrome, F that little ugly baby. Blueface wanna talk about my son, got me messed up, F that little retarded baby. He added, I'm tired of seeing this little retarded bee on my Instagram every day f the baby f blueface f krishan f all three of y'all needless to say this didn't sit well with a lot of people including the child's grandmother carlisa suffered she called out soldier boy suggesting that he might be under the influence of something she also made it clear that talking about someone's baby is off limits and warned that karma might come back to his own grandbaby she wrote y'all should not be talking about nobody's baby that will come back on your grandbaby that's off limits that's a short man syndrome because that baby is bigger than soldier boy already that's why he's mad he wouldn't say his gang affiliation on the internet but he's talking about kids that's just giving a magic on drgs 
Considering the backlash, that's why we have ourselves Soldier Boy's apology, or should I say, non apology extravaganza. But I must ask, what was he thinking? It is like he took a detour into Confusionville instead of heading straight to Sincerity City. I mean, Soldier Boy wants us to believe his apology is genuine, but instead of focusing on that, he's busy asking his fans whether he should apologize or not. That's like asking a squirrel for relationship advice. Does that seem genuine or just a desperate attempt to save face? I'll let you be the judge, but I'm leaning towards the latter. And it is not just that, because the apology itself is as questionable as pineapple on pizza. Soldier Boy claims it is not an apology but an understanding. Well, excuse me, but the last time I checked, understanding and apologizing were two different things. You can't just slap a fancy label on it and call it a day. And let us not forget about Soldier Boy's claims of wanting to be the bigger man in a picture because he's too viral and too pretty. Seriously? Is this a genuine apology or self promotion campaign? I don't know about you, but I don't see any sincerity in that statement. It is like he's trying to distract us with his alleged virus status and good looks instead of actually owning up to his mistakes. From the stance of things, Soldier Boy has really outdone himself this time. Not only is he in the wrong, but has managed to be completely unreasonable about it. Who does that? Who fails to offer a good and reasonable apology considering his recent comments? And speaking of those, let us talk about them, shall we? Calling some baby ugly and using derogatory terms like retarded is just plain low. We're talking about an innocent child here, someone who doesn't even understand the chaos you've created. Dragging them into your baseless feud is just downright heartless. And to top it all off, not only did he insult an innocent child, but he also refused to give a sincere apology. We all make mistakes, but owning up to them is what separates the mature from the immature. Anyway, that aside, I don't know about you, but I've got a feeling that this so-called apology of his is nothing more than a ploy for the spotlight. Seems like a reach, but hear me out. If he truly wanted to apologize, did he really need to ask for the fans' advice? That's like asking a fish for swimming lessons. All he had to do was say sorry and be done with it. But no, he just had to involve other people, take about a necessary drama, and let us not forget this guy has a track record of insincerity. He's been flip-flopping, creating chaos left and right. In case you missed it, right before he made fun of Krishan's baby, he had just apologized to Blueface. He admitted that him promising 2K to anyone in jail to SA Blueface was too far. He claimed he understood what it meant to be locked down, even offering money 1K for Blue's books. He said, I know what it feels like to be locked down in a jail cell. You don't know what is going on on the outside. Ain't nobody with you. Ain't nobody putting money on your books. I got a thousand dollars whoever knows somebody blue faces people somebody you'll hit me up i'm gonna put one thousand dollars on that ninja's box but when blueface rejected the offer posting on instagram saying i still need that fade soldier boy didn't stick to his world he then claimed he still wanted to beat blueface instead of making peace he called him the police and a snitch that begs the question were soldier boy's intentions even genuine in the first place it didn't matter if Blueface rejected his offer note, if he truly wanted to end the beef, he should have stuck to his world. But no, he just couldn't resist the urge to steal the poet. Interestingly enough, when Blueface turned himself in, Soldier Boy claimed he didn't want to see him behind bars because he wouldn't wish jail on his worst enemy. But guess what? Shortly after that, he went on a rampage attacking Krishan and Blueface's baby. Now, that's just crossing the line, but it is also as clear as day that Soldier Boy is desperate for attention. He's been trying so hard to get his name in the headlines, and well, it worked. But going after a month old baby and calling them ugly and retarded, that's just downright despicable. So, does Soldier Boy deserve the criticism he's facing? Absolutely, yes. 
He's proven time and time again that he's more interested in causing chaos than making amends. Admittedly, this messy situation just keeps getting messier and we can't wait to see how it all plays out with accusations and apologies flying left and right. But what do you think about all of this? Should Soldier Boy be forgiven for his hurtful comments? Was his apology genuine or is Krishan right to be skeptical about his intentions? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more scandalous sagas.